Hey, Ben. Hey. Uh, was just about to go to uh, bed. So if, if you wouldn't mind <laughs> leaving. Yeah, I think I'm okay. Oh. <laughs> Actually, I had a, I, had a, I, had a, I had a better idea. Yeah. I think, um, you know, you know, we've been going to sleep pretty late while we're out here recording videos. Yeah. I think um, maybe you deserve to be pampered. I figured maybe, you know, could read you a little bedtime story. You read bedtime? From the uh, five-minute storybook. Oh, how'd that get here? What'd you get? You brought that? Well, I, I bought you a lot of Amazon packages and, you know, I, I figured maybe, maybe you could, uh, you could use a bit of sleep. Yeah, no. Um... Is that weird? Is it like weird that I? I thought we were going to be recording uh, much different content when the lights went off. Were you nervous when you walked in here and there was a the whole bed it was satin satin line? No, 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 no. We talked about recording this video, so <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, how about you go turn off the light? Okay. Oh, that, that's kind of weird that you decided to sleep with a lava mic if on. If my dick comes out, don't be mad, please. So, um, are you comfy? I'm comfy. You ready to, to yep. get your sleep on? Yep, I'm ready for the MRT. Hell sleep yeah. On. Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Say, let's go to sleep. Let's go to sleep. Yeah, say, yep. say sleep team. Sleep team. Woo, birthday boy. Okay, so today we are reading uh, How the Camel Got His Hump. Okay, I, I didn't actually, I haven't learned how that happened yet. So yeah. it's gonna so, be big for me to learn that. So a long time ago, when the earth was still new, all the animals worked hard for their friend. Man. <laughs> the horse carried man on his back. What are you doing? <laughs> I thought you were supposed to be going to sleep. I'm, go I'm getting the lab ready for me to sleep. I'm getting the lab ready for me to sleep. It's a lot of effort for you to go to sleep. Yeah, wait, hold on, I'm getting the lab ready. I gotta like pinch it. You should have thought about this beforehand, huh? I gotta just pinch. No, you just gotta pinch it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay. Should I start from the beginning or? Yeah, I missed okay. the whole first. Yeah, I like, mean, like two you sentences. need the whole sleep experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, how the camel got his hump? Mm -hmm. Long. <laughs> You're supposed to be going to sleep. I, you, you're making me laugh. You can't make oh, me laugh. Jesus Christ. Well, a long time ago, when the earth was still new, all the animals worked hard for their friend, man. The horse carried man on his back, the dog fetched wood for him, and the ox plowed the fields. But the lazy camel stayed in the desert and refused to do any work. <laughs> you made me laugh again. That's how you say words is really funny. Sorry. Go ahead. Do you have a fucking problem? Well, I just how you say word storyteller. You have like fucking the weird DMV like voice thing, and then you have like the Massachusetts thing, and then you have like the Phoenix thing. It just sounds so funny. I hope you have nightmares tonight. What if I? What if I look like, at? Oh, dude, that'd be so. He sad. spent his time staring at his reflection in a pool of water. Oh wait, wait, I skipped the part. Uh, but the camel refused to, fu to do any work. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. In the desert and refused to do any work. He spent his time staring at his reflection in the pool of water, mm -hmm. admiring his lovely slender neck and very long legs. The mm -hmm. camel shut up. The camel was very unfriendly and only had one thing to say to the other animals. Hoof. That's what it says. It says hoof. Are you sleepy? This is supposed to be relaxing. Yeah, I'm trying to get comfortable. One day, the horse rode deep into the desert and said to the camel, Come out and trot with us. Hoomph, replied the camel. The next to approach the lazy creature was the dog. He came bounding up with a stick in his mouth. Excitedly, he dropped the stick and said, Camel, come and fetch and carry like the rest of us. Hoomph, <laughs> came to reply as the camel. To scare, I didn't make this up. This is uh, probably copyright infringement now that I think about it, but it says hoof. Okay, sure, 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 sure. Came the reply as the camel continued to stare at his reflection. When the ox heard how rude the camel had been, he decided to try. <laughs> he trudged through the hot desert and finally reached the lazy camel. Come on and help us plow, he said. 
But the only response was, Oomph. The camel was in no mood to talk anymore. Shit. I don't look at that. At the end of the day, the man called the three animals together. The lazy camel in the desert refuses to do any work, he said. Now you will have all the work double time. The three animals were very angry. They held a powwow to discuss what could be done. We can't go on working like this, complained the horse, and they all agreed. Presently, the the djinn? The djinn? The djinn of all the deserts appeared? It's, have you ever played Phasmophobia? No, tell me, tell me about it. What does that mean? or something. There might be one in this house right now. Really? No, I don't know if we can sleep no. with a ghost in this house. That's what's the problem. Wow. <clears throat> anyway, so a djinn appears. Uh, presently, the, the djinn of all deserts appeared in a whoosh and a swoosh. A uh, whoosh and a swoosh, huh? Rolling in a cloud of dust. Now, the, is it djinn or djinn? Or how do you say that? It's just a djinn, dude. Djinn? Okay. You're supposed to be the... All right. Let's just pause. You're, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to judge how you read. This is a bedtime story, not a fucking like cinematic movie, you fucking bitch. Well, people are watching this, number one. I mean, we, I don't know that. We don't know that. But people just are watching this. Talk, we go. And at the same time, too, I'm holding a camera and I'm reading a book. You're not doing enough. <laughs> Am I not enough for you? You could talk really quiet, talk like softly and very airy into your microphone. You want this to be like ASMR content now? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. I can do that for you. Not in an accent. You're, you're <laughs> fucking it up again. Not in an accent is what I... Okay. okay. Presently, the djinn of all deserts appeared in a whoosh and a swoosh, rolling in a cloud of dust. Now the djinn was a magic creature who always traveled that way. He was in charge of all the deserts and was very wise. Oh, Jin of all the deserts. Is it? I can't do this voice anymore. I'm sorry. I can't just I can't, read can it. I just, just fucking read just, it. Please. Oh, Jin of all the deserts. Is it right for anyone to be idle with the world being so new? Wow, this was a crazy time. The world was new, I guess. Asked the horse. Certainly not, replied the Jin. Well, said the horse. I think a horse would go, well, said the horse. There's a thing in the middle of the desert with a long neck, long legs, and a flat back. Or he hasn't, I misspoke, he hasn't done a stroke of work in three days. What does he say about it, said the djinn? He only says, Oof, said the dog, and he won't fetch and carry. Does he say anything else, asked the djinn. No, he refuses to plow, added the ox. Then I shall need to pay this lazy creature a visit. The djinn of all the deserts told the three tired animals. The very next day, the camel was, as usual, admiring himself. Suddenly, there was a whoosh and a swoosh, double whammy if you ask me, and a cloud of sand rose high into the air. Camel thought it was a sandstorm until the jinn of all the deserts appeared with a thump at his feet. Hoof, said the camel. Although secretly, he was very interested in, in the magical vision before him. What is all this I hear, asked the jinn. <laughs> well, why, are you not working with the new world being so new? Oof, replied the camel. You have given the horse and the dog and the ox a lot of extra work on the account of your laziness. Aren't you a little sorry? Oof, came the same reply. Use that word one more effing time. They didn't say that in the book. This is okay, a children's well, book. I'm, oh, fuck. Are you a child? What? Well, you're just adding words. I don't know. I want to know like the canon events of each of these parts. Like I, I don't. I don't feel like I trust like that. You add, that is, say that is canon. This cinematic universe. Yeah. Yeah. This okay. is well, it's a- well, humph. Can the same reply? Use that word one more time, and you will be sorry. Warned the gin. Humph. Said the camel. But this was to be once too often. The gin of the desert sat with his chin in his hand and began to work a great magic. Soon the perfectly flat back of the camel began to puff up and up into a great big lolloping hump. What has happened to my beautiful flat back? Cried the camel with a huge salty, with huge salty tape, with huge salty tears 
crawling onto the dry sand. Wipe that smirk off your face. I, you know, it's it's hard when you're so funny and good looking. The thing is, Zach, <clears throat> I, as you're doing this, I'm thinking, how the fuck are we going to edit this? <laughs> Give it to me. It'll be fine. And my brain goes crazy. And then I'm like, I'll oh, just put subtitles on it. It'll be fine. Make I it think it'll hours. be a good video. I think it'll be a good video. We can't stop talking about how good our videos are going to be in the middle of making a video. <laughs> That's crazy, dude. Anyways, you're sleepy, and this is me reading bedtime stories to you until you fall asleep. It's supposed to be a very relaxing video. Can I get video. morning wood? Well, can I get morning wood while I'm awake? Now you have your very own humph, the djinn told him. You brought yourself. You brought this onto yourself with your laziness. The camel was startled by this outburst. I would be too, frankly. There's been no warnings by this gin. This gin came in with, no biz with all business. This gin's standing on business. Gin's standing on business, I say. Now you are going to put that humph to work, continued the gin. But how can I work with this huge humph on my... I don't like the way they keep... They should refer to it as a hump now. I keep having to use the word humph. They add extra consonants to it. But how can I work with this huge humph on my back? The camel quickly replied. It's the humph that will help you work, the djinn told him. The humph will hold three days' food. You owe everyone three days' work, so now you can work and not have to stop to eat? The camel dropped his head sadly. And there will be no time to admire your reflection in the water, the djinn of all the deserts added. And a whoosh and a swoosh flew into the air. And the camel... And his humph went to join the horse and the dog and the ox. And from that day, oh, and from that day to this, the camel always wears a humph, which we call a hump now to not hurt his feelings. <laughs> <laughs> but he never has, but he has never yet made up those three days that he missed at the beginning of the world. And now, and he has yet to ever learn how to behave. The end. Dude, I was like maybe like 30% asleep. And then you said it, saying humph would hurt his feelings. <laughs> and then I was like, I was, I'm up again. Where's my can, phone? Can you, watch, you can't get your phone. Can, I watch, one piece, can I watch one piece while I'm trying to sleep? Should this turn into you watching one piece while you're asleep? Don't you watch it in like Telegram channels? Yes, I you do. want to pull out a tele an illegal pirated <laughs> yeah. Telegram channel to watch rips Wait, of if, One Piece. What if Toei Animation finds it? The next story is the the princess and the pea. Okay. You want another bedtime story? Yeah, I'm. Am I asleep, Zach? Uh, okay. Um, you know, I wish there was like a One Piece bedtime story. Frankly. I would never go to sleep for watching One Piece. Yeah, you'd be too too enthralled. Yeah, yeah, it's fantastic. Okay, well, the princess and the pea, once upon a time in a kingdom far away, lived... Sorry, I have lighting issues. My hand hurts. It's like an awkward angle to like keep it at the same... It's so funny that we made people do this for like five hours. Well, the thing is, is it's not like I'm holding it. It's not just that I'm holding a camera. It's that I'm holding it at a specific angle, like with the book, so I can read it in the dark. I can't hold it. I'd help you if I... I can't hold it, though. Help you if I could. I also, Ben down. said he'd get me a tripod, and then he didn't bring up a tripod. I, I thought I had one. I don't know where the second one went. Maybe you can find it in your fucking dreams, buddy. Once the princess and the pea. My foot's on the bed, but that's okay. The princess and the pea. Once upon a time, in a kingdom far away, lived lived a handsome prince. He had a loving. He had loving parents. Oh no! It starts, dude. I'm just going to go sniff that. It can't come soon enough. You're going to hotbox oh. yourself? <laughs> oh, shit, that's what I got. Are you proud of yourself and what you've done? Yeah, I mean, I just uh, I, I just brush my teeth. It doesn't smell too bad. What? <laughs> Can you read, dude? You're making me awake. He had... <laughs> I'm trying to help you. You are going to come in here with no bedtime stories and watch One I, Piece. Yeah. Yeah, that's, how, that's my bedtime story. Is this, what, there's a thousand episode saga. He had loving parents, plenty of friends, and lived a wonderful life in his castle. But one thing made him sad. 
he did not have a wife. The prince always wanted to marry a princess, but he wanted her to be clever and funny and loving and kind. None of the princesses that he met at parties, I thought it said had balls. <laughs> I thought this said had balls. It says, none of the princesses he met at parties and balls were quite right. Some of the princesses were too mean. Oh no. And some were too rude. Some were too quiet and some were too loud. This guy sounds like he's a little picky, huh? Yeah, it sounds like he should just fucking... He has, he has tons of queens in front of him. And some were just too boring. So the prince decided to travel the world in hopes of finding a perfect princess. He met many more princesses who were trying to impress him with their beauty, their dancing, and their baking. But none were quite right. I've... I've never gone to meet the right princess, he sighed to himself. Oh, where is the girl of my dreams? Months passed without success, so eventually the prince headed back to his castle. Cheer up, my son, said the king. You are still young. One day you'll meet a wonderful girl, just like I met your mother, the king smiled at the queen. But he was at a loss to know how to make the prince happy again. Then one night, when even the king and the queen had begun to give up hope of their son ever finding a bride. Wow, they turned quick. There's a very supportive parents, huh? Um, there was a terrible storm. Thunder roared, lightning flashed, and the rain poured down. Suddenly, there was a loud knock on the wooden castle door. I wonder who could be out at such a terrible stormy night, said the prince. When he opened the door, a pretty young girl stared back at him. She was soaked from head to toe. Oh, please, your royal highness, may I come in for a moment? Oh, please, oh shit, that's the previous line. Oh, she pleaded. I was traveling to see some friends, but I got lost in the storm, and now I am very cold and very wet. Can you raise your eyebrows for like a reaction there? Oh, that's what I did. I, mean. oh, I just, I was reading, I didn't see it, I'm sorry. Uh, she, she's very wet. The prince ushered the poor girl in out of the wind and rain. You poor thing, said the queen. You must stay the night. You cannot travel. Oh, you cannot travel on in this weather. The prince smiled at the girl. Hey, baby girl, what's your name? He asked her. Oh, well, I'm Princess Penelope, she replied. You are all very kind. I don't want to be a bother to you. At the word princess, the queen smiled to herself. I wonder, she thought, but she didn't say anything. She took the girl's hand and said aloud, of course not, my dear. Come and let's get you warm. Oh, they're coming now too. Once the princess had changed into some dry clothes, they had princess sized clothes just way in there. Must be a fit queen to have some spare clothes princess sized clothes laying around good for the king honestly good for the king not that it would be a problem if it wasn't i'm just saying like that's hard work it's hard work um yeah but once she had some dry clothes the queen invited her to have some supper with the family the prince listened contentedly well that's a word contentedly as the charming prince chatted away over the meal he could not stop gazing at her buddy i'm quite the gazer myself she was clever and funny and loving and kind, and by the end of the evening, the prince had fallen in love. The queen was delighted when she saw what was happening, but she wanted to be quite sure that Princess Penelope was a real princess. That's kind of classist. I don't know. I guess this is a different time. It really begs the question whether or not you should be separating like the art from the artist, the author from the the art from the author, the art from the author. How does that phrase go? I don't know. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. So she went to the guest room in the castle and placed a tiny pea under the mattress. <laughs> then she told the servants to pile 20 more mattresses onto the bed. The queen had 20 feather quilts piled on top of 20 mattresses. Now we shall see if you're a real princess, muttered the queen to herself. 
What a bitchy queen. Um, the queen showed the princess to her room and tucked her into the towering bed. Sleep well, my dear, she said. In, a, in, in the morning, the princess came down to breakfast rubbing her eyes. How did you sleep, my dear? The queen asked her. The princess didn't want to be rude. She did, couldn't lie. I'm afraid I hardly slept a wink, she replied, stifling a yawn. Oh, I'm so sorry, my dear, said the queen. Was the bed not comfy? The book says comfortable. I, I think comfy is a better fit here, but I guess a queen is above, like, slang. <clears throat> there were so many lovely mattresses and quilts. It should have been very comfortable, replied the princess. Oh, well, yeah, I guess that's right. But I could feel something lumpy and bumpy, and now I am black and blue all over. The queen grinned and hugged the girl to her. That proves it, cried the queen. Only a real princess would be able to feel a tiny pea through 20 mattresses and quilt feathers. Yo, this queen's got is on another, another one. The prince was filled with joy. He had finally met the princess of his dreams. Not long after that, the prince asked the princess, Penelope, to be his wife. She happily agreed, and they were married in the castle. The prince was never unhappy again, and as for the pea, it was put in the royal museum as proof the princess do exist. Wow, he is really dead, dead asleep, huh? Shut your eyes. This is the end of the video. I'm not holding this for another five minute story. Bro, I gotta. I gotta Shh, you're asleep. I gotta fall asleep, dude. You are asleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. We're and No, go to You are asleep. I read you the perfect book. Look, the book's getting closed. Dude. The book is now getting closed. Dude, please Pretend please like you're asleep. Me. Please help me. I will bonk you on the fucking head. What? Okay. Wow, guys. I, I was such a good reader. Uh, leave a comment if you want me to um, like narrate audiobooks on like Kindle or something. I should probably leave them alone. Now I'm on a beach.